Hello and welcome back to my Shroud of the Avatar coverage. Uh, I will flag up front that this is probably going to be the last video where I do a complete sort of let's play style video. Uh, I think I'm going to have to scale back on it, A, because uh, it's causing me uh, hard disk issues, but also uh, I need to, I think, uh, concentrate a little bit more on actually the dialogue, because I'm discovering this game has minimal hand-holding, a lot of reading, and um, it's going to be hard for me to keep tabs of things if I'm basically uh, recording uh, kind of voiceover and video at the same time as trying to play a game that's very new with, as I say, very little sort of help. It gives you guidance, uh, as you can see in the yellow text, you've got a couple of bits. Um, you've got this rather nice chat dialog box option where you can type sentences, click on the kind of quick links or click on the little options at the bottom. And there's quite a lot of interesting information here. Um, but as I say, very, very old school, very sort of 1980s, 1990s style of gameplay. And the graphics, uh, now I've tweaked them a bit, are looking much, much nicer. Um, the voiceover and audio, I think, could do with a little bit of work. In particular, um, some of the audio samples, whilst they're actually quite good, they're repeated too frequently or they're particularly loud. Um, so tweaking that could be quite good. Anyway, I believe I need to... Uh, give over a book and um, then get some extra options given to me. So yeah, here you go, Edvard's notes, and um, yeah, gained a load of XP, uh, which segues nicely into the fact that I also need to work out how to kind of level up via trainers because uh, I will be coming across those uh, in the village very shortly, and got a lot of interesting kind of areas you might want to go consider here. So we've got the perennial coast, we've got the city of uh, Adoris, um, we've got the rural of Sorrento, we've got a couple of guards I believe get name dropped. Um, there's some refugees nearby who might have some interesting information for me. And I've got a kind of um, fetch and carry sort of quest here to take some notes to Captain Cudgel who's in Ardoris. So we definitely know that potentially we need to go to Ardoris. Um, we've had a pretty strong hint we might want to return to the location we started in to find out what's going on there. Um, that's going to be a really big thing when we hit the refugee camp as well. And um, yeah, that there's going to be um, a few interesting options to try and keep tabs of. And you're going to do that via your inventory in your journal, really, because you're going to have notes in your inventory and in particular in your journal. And if you're not keeping on top of that, this game would, could be pretty hard to, to get your head around. Now, I do like this offline uh, ability, so if you want that kind of solo RPG play, that's great. But I do wonder with the minimal hand-holding whether the online MMO side might be a better idea because you can actually work with friends um, to actually kind of keep tab of all the information you need to do. Uh, I'm not sure how that's going to work if you're a brand new player interacting with someone who's been playing quite a while and therefore you know a lot of your quests are actually totally unrelated. Um, to, to what they're currently doing because you know they, they did it kind of a few weeks before. Uh, I'm also a little bit concerned to hear that the land has limited property lots which uh, you actually get offered by this guard if you've bought some property because um, my main concern with that is on the online game you know if there's only 10 let's say castle spots in a town and 10 players have built castles well you're going to have to find another town and eventually at some point all the towns are going to be fully full up and so as a new player to the game well you're going to be locked out of that particular aspect of the game potentially so it'll be interesting to see how they handle that in the future um, but anyway um, definitely got uh, an interesting little mini quest here to do with a grave robber um, they're going to be mentioned a few times and um, apparently we need to keep an eye on things um, Oh, apparently there's things I do not want to know. So, yes, uh, again, this kind of moral dilemma issue uh, reappears uh, in a game by Lord British. So, yeah, that's going to be an interesting thing because you might want to go nuts, talk to everyone, pick up everything. But that could get you in trouble, that there could be consequences. And you might not realise it. it might be you say something to this guy now 
and in 60 missions time you suddenly discover that was a bad idea so um, again uh, the lack of hand holding there could get you in trouble in the future so current tasks so I rescued Charlotte Gray I should talk to her when I'm able and um, I've got some nice information from Stanley here so off to the refugees over here and I see the lighting effects are great Ooh, another one of those weird watcher things as well um, be interesting to find out what the hell they are Anyway, uh, there's a couple of uh, cats lurking around with names, which is a bit weird. Let's go in the tent and have a chat. And uh, by the way, uh, I'm pleased to say you can't hear the audio of that little girl who keeps standing up and falling over and making all sorts of horrible noises. Um, not sure what's going on there. And rather irritatingly, in my conversation here with Linda, for some reason I'm looking at the side of a tent rather than the conversation. And she's very obsessed with cats. So we get to hear a lot about Whiskey and Tiger and Sissy. Uh, we can also talk a little bit about cats as well. So it's nice to see that sometimes conversations with NPCs can be a little bit weird, but uh, apparently we have uh, Savan, is that? And they're a brave adventurer, and apparently they're apart and bad things maybe have happened to them. And um, get to learn a bit about Bread and Solace Bridge and we got to try and help where we can and let's have a look i've got to be honest i thought the rumors about the undead were just tales yep well sadly they weren't and a lot of people died to bring you this message so yeah th the lack of a voiceover in today's day and age obviously is good from the point of view of if there's all this text that that'd be a lot of disk space um but it does mean you're going to have to get your reading glasses on and have a good old read um so oh, i think i'm done with her shall we talk to this little kid who's flying all over the place um yeah some kind of weird physics going on there hopefully they can uh, patch that out um because it's a little bit crazy anyway uh oh hello yeah stinky breath to you too thanks very much yeah wow what a horrible little brat yeah i'm just a kid so yeah some of the kids are more useful than others uh, I do quite like that, you know, she's just like, oh, I'm a kid and you get stinky breath, you look funny and so that's quite amusing. Anyway, uh, what of these two ladies? Oh yes, the lovesick Emily, who knows something about the graph mines. Is that going to be an interesting location to go to? Oh, magical. Mm. Oh, and a love interest, uh, Quincy. Yeah, I, I got a feeling he's not very well. So I've got a letter to Quincy from Emily but I believe she's um, not interested in that she wants something from Solace Bridge so yeah I've got two locations to go check out now Solace Bridge definitely is a location to go back to and of course the uh, the village uh, village the city as well and uh, yeah she's pretty obsessed with Quincy I, I think I've made her cry now by the way so apologies to to you Emily um, I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, but yeah, um, I I found it a little bit irritating that I, I thought I picked up pretty much everything at Solace Bridge. Now apparently I've got to go back there. Now it's quite possible it's uh, in the surrounding areas I can get to, and yet another person who's love sick, love sick for someone in Solace Bridge. So uh, we now got uh, Marcus to worry about, and he's from uh, Doris. So. Um, you know, a couple of links there. We also get to hear about someone called the Shogun. Um, and what else have we got? Yes, Sequania, who's a god, I believe. Uh, or no, a realm. Um, needed to read uh, some of that uh, in a bit more detail. Now, I would like to see if there's a way of um, kind of finding this chat log. Uh, it's possible it's actually stored somewhere. Because obviously, if you're playing through like I am and you're kind of clicking on stuff and skim reading. Uh, you might miss out on some pretty important information and without being able to kind of go back there and review what's been typed uh, in that that could be a bit of a pain now i am glad to say when you are actually talking you do have the option to kind of slow down and scroll back and click on bits so that's pretty good so um is he alive is he dead uh, i'd imagine he possibly is dead so we've got to look for clues what happened to marcus um so uh, another quest in my journal so J to get hold of that and then we've got this lady here who doesn't look very happy and apparently something's gone on with her daughter 
Uh, there's been an attack and a fire and some thieves. And, oh, we got some clue there, something about red cloth. Um, so, yeah, we, we definitely need to do some investigation, find out what's going on. So refugees are being attacked not only by undead but by some other nefarious sorts. And a nice plump rabbit led to problems for her daughter. And um, there's some necklace, apparently, that we need to find on that. So I believe that's a local quest. I think the graveyard is actually in this region. And, um, you know, the husband seems to be AWOL, obviously um, died many years ago. Um, so here you go. Oh, return to the graveyard this evening and find out who stole things. And I believe a couple of other people will mention the grave robber as well in this region. Um, have I spoken to everyone? Pretty much. I think there's just the mother here of the daughter that we rescued. Um, Charlotte, I think it was. Yes, there you go, Charlotte. And, um, yeah, she's mourning her husband and very pleased that you've uh, helped rescue her daughter. And, oh yeah, apparently learnt how to backflip, so that's good. And apparently that's due to being an actress uh, in the past, so thank you very much for that, Abigail. And do we have any rumours? Um, yeah, some people much more useful when you speak to them about rumours than others. And occasionally you also get jobs as well. So it's always a good idea to maybe talk about things. But you do need to worry uh, a little bit about clicking too much. Uh, I did actually talk to someone about a job. And they give me a job now and I have no idea how I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, that apparently they're child salesmen, so might be worth speaking to them later. And I make a mistake here. I should have gone over to this gateway here to kind of... Oh, no, I did trigger it. Good. So apparently that's the exit to Novia. Um, so, yeah, you want to always go up to those gates so you kind of get locked in potential exits. And as you can see, the night time has become day. And uh, let's have a quick double check with Stanley. He might have some new dialogue to have with me based on the conversation I had. And uh, yeah, there you go. Something about the grave robber. Got a bit more information. And oh, here you go. Here's the free lots option to um, build your property. Um, as I say, I'm a little bit worried about the free lots in the online version because if you join this game late, you might find all the lots have been you know, used up. But then again, some of the property that you can buy to go in the really big lots like the castles, you know, we're talking many, many dollars and therefore quite expensive. And I have to say here the depth of field effects does work pretty well. The lighting looks great and the graphics are growing on me, uh, particularly as I've tweaked them a bit to turn everything on. So I think I'm running in what's known as beautiful mode right now. And my journal's looking a bit more packed with information. So return to Solace Bridge, go off here, find out more about the red cloth, um, who's the thief? So this is the way you're going to track your quests. So I've got what, four or five quests there, um, just from a couple of dialogue uh, box choices. And yes, I, I meant to press the inventory key there, not the journal key. And again, so, some of these books have got some nice little fluff in them that you can read, and I'm wondering how that's going to pay off in the long run. Um, you could spend a lot of time reading this uh, because I'm sort of rushing through this early stage of it because I, I did, as I say, play this up to the town um, before. So um, I'm just kind of rushing up to the point where um, I'm not so sure what I'm doing. And, and that, I'm sort of at that point now. It's getting a bit hazy as to what uh, I should be doing at this point going forward. Uh, as I was thinking... Um, Rather than do this great big long, like 20, 30 minute long videos, um, I think what I'm going to do is just record highlights uh, when I come across things that are particularly interesting. Um, part of the problem I'm having with trying to record the stuff on the fly like this is um, I am missing some vital bits of information, I think, because uh, I do get a little bit lost a bit later on. Um, when trying to work out where to go, because I was thinking of going off to find the graveyard, um, but I'm actually going to end up in the town, which I believe is over here, and this is where I accidentally accepted a job I didn't mean to uh, as well. So, as you see, you've got pretty decent draw distance. The, the graphics, I think, are actually perfectly acceptable for, you know, in particular, online MMO. 
So let's have a look. Who is this? Ah, well, this is the crier, apparently. So um, they are potentially interested in getting me to work for them as a mail handler. And uh, local mail is what I'd like to do. But uh, sadly, I got a horrible feeling I asked to deliver mail to a adjacent region. And when you do that, that means you can no longer deliver mail locally, which is a bit of a pain. Anyway, um, you know, they're pretty useful people, these criers. And they can give you news, they can in particular give you lots for building. And if you're really into building, there's some pretty good stuff here. So, would you like to deliver local or region mail? And you, you whoops. So, I've got to go to De Solis, is that? So, I need to work out where I'm meant to be going there. So, um, yeah, that, that's another little quest for me to uh, manage now. And um, there's some weird looking guy over there behind the pole, so maybe I should go have a chat with them. And yes, yeah, seems to have a little bit of a jump there. I think I had to uh, quit out of the game and come back into it. So let's have a chat to Ashton. Now, apparently, they used to sell things and they need my help. Uh, have you got any rumours then? Let's have a look. Oh. Carpenter over in the camp is looking for his hammer. So there you go, we got another little quest. Uh, go find a hammer and let's ask about help then. What help do you need? Well, apparently they need help with the undead and some plague apparently. So we get given some potions, I believe. Um, so we take the fight to them and they will give us a cure plague potion. That, that doesn't look so good. Yeah. Um, so think that's pretty much it now yeah so my new purpose is to destroy an army that's already dead okay um who else we got uh, who's this chap over here is this uh oh the little kitty there you go Ellery. and they uh, will talk to you how cute okay oh i'm poor mm. okay so who's this um well they they want coin so I've given them some gold and they should be happy now are they going to give me their name oh they're Chad apparently okay but even though I've just given them a gold coin apparently they're still broke and yeah I, I can understand why because when you talk to some of these merchants you realize one gold is not going to get you very far oh but they're an ex-bard apparently so oh well apparently they don't have good songs that might explain why they're very poor so a couple of weird looking mechanical people i think they're kind of trader robots we'll find out when we talk to them and now we've got the bank apparently so let's go in here and it's like but uh, hold on it's not a bank it's an inn but we do have a banker robot droid so anyway let's talk to the barmaid wench as all fantasy inns require of course and you've got the option to sell stuff um so you could sell a a rusty, uh, broken rusty sword, and um, when you transfer stuff, you sign to say you're happy, and you actually get a little signature. That's pretty good. And we've got some trader here, um, a refugee, and they've got a nice load of extra information to share with us as well. And they're obviously not very happy, um, and maybe you can help them out uh, at some stage. So. Uh, be interesting to see how some of these random NPCs pan out. Um, and at this point, I should point out that uh, a guy we need to speak to has decided to go outside and basically violently throw up over and over again. Um, so uh, just be aware when you come to this location, you, you may have to slightly uh, decrease the volume on your sound. And uh, we got some weird guy stood over by the fire. I believe that's the bard. Um, so that'd be good. Oh, and hold on, we've just got something here. Another little quest. That's good. Uh, let's speak to the innkeeper. See what they've got to say for themselves. And yeah. Oh, affairs of others. Bit of gossip. Uh, oh, not really. Okay, that's a little bit disappointing. So, uh, again, at this point, they don't seem to have to say much for themselves, really. Um, well, not much interest in any way. But, uh, yeah, that, that's sort of a, yeah, I'm here, I own the place, go, go speak to other people. They, 
they're actually the people you want to speak to right now. So what I'm looking forward to is seeing if sometime in the future characters like this who aren't particularly useful do become useful. Are they just there as a little bit of colour, to be honest? And, oh, Bentley. Now, I'm pretty sure that's someone we should be speaking to. Um, is this the guy who's missing the hammer? All right, what's the offer? All right. Um, oh, find a key. Okay. So, yet another quest, and that's in some country estate, and uh, they're pretty keen on their key. Have you got my key yet? Well, talk to me. Well, yeah, okay, but have you got my key? Um, so... Uh, quite a nice little model, but uh, looks a bit like Chad, dare I say, the beggar. Um, oh, guild register. Okay, I'm not sure that's going to do much offline. And here you go, we've got some bard here that we can talk to. And apparently we can tell them we enjoyed their music. And do they teach us music? Uh, yeah, oh, yes, there you go, we've been taught how to sing. So that's pretty good. And a nice fun bit of animation there of them singing. Uh, but sadly, didn't really hear much singing on the actual audio, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how that works. I am aware there's a, a very good musical engine uh, in the game, so you can actually play ABC files, as they're known, which are sort of like MIDI um, notation files, and some of them are, are pretty good, I have to say, and uh, you can get some fun bagpipes and, oh, stuff to steal. Let's grab a letter and a book and... Um, Hopefully that's going to give us some nice information. And have we got anything upstairs here? Oh, another ladder. Hmm. Anything interesting? Let's have a look. Don't think so, by the way. Oh, draw. Stuff to steal. Uh, no. Here you go, yeah. So, obviously, uh, it seems I'm going to be channeling the thief class because uh, I'm running around and what's in this box and what's in this drawer. Anyway, uh, am I done with the inn? Oh no, there's this guy here, Japeth. Um, this is the guy, I believe, who's been vomiting a lot. And they seem to be drowning themselves in drink because they are infatuated with Emma the barmaid and they've written them a love poem. So, yeah. Um, is Emma going to enjoy this poem? Mm, I'm not sure they are. Let, let's find out in a bit. Okay. Oh, life ruined. Oh, a little bit lovesick. I think Emma's going to break his heart. So how do I chat to this person? Well, if I'm paying attention to the little chat log down in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll find out you need to type hello when you speak to her. But you actually need to click hello, not type hello, as I discover. So that's a little bit frustrating. That's something I think they need to uh, tweak, um, but it's not too bad. Um, oh, says you want to talk to Edward again? Is that what you're hinting at? Oh, okay. Um, I missed that the first time around. Okay, so, hi, Emma. Um, I want to talk to you about stuff. I know naught. Well, you're not very good barmaid if you don't know any rumours, are you? Have you got any jobs? I'm a barmaid. Maybe I should get you a drink. Okay. How are you feeling? Yeah, well, it's tough to be you, isn't it? Okay, you've got nothing interesting. Right, let's see what you think about Japheth then. Yeah, oh, there you go. Have a poem. I'm sure it's amazing. He wrote me a love poem. And, oh, ooh. oh dear. She she doesn't seem very keen on Japheth. Yeah, I think a bit of counselling for Japheth's going to be required. And they're very excited about a strapping lad from Madoris. And stop nagging me about trying to get him to cheer you up okay right yep yeah, she's she's a cold fish right let's go speak to that lovely catch japeth who's obviously a drunk and is outside vomiting again mm. yeah okay oh poem mm, yeah um well she is sort of loving some with someone someone from a doris she just hasn't met them yet yeah oh good he he's happy that She's such a fine catch that she's not interested. Um, maybe I should have spoke to him about rumours and news, but um, yeah, no, I, I've had enough of him. So back out into the village, and um, there's Chad. Poor, poor old chap. Right, 
training robots. Maybe we should have a word with them. Yeah. Oh, we can teach me skills. Okay. How's that work? Um, something I need to read up on. I haven't really worked out this, but I think part of the problem is I just don't have the gold. Uh, I've got, what, 300 odd gold? Um, I could potentially train these 100 gold skills, I guess. Um, so that's definitely something to look into. Um, problem is, do I want to go for armor? Do I want to go for shields? Do I want to go for range attacks, magic? What What do I want to train? Oh, maps. Yes, tour guides. Yes, I want a map. And does that cost 500 to buy, is that? Uh, they're not cheap, these maps, are they? And oh no, sorry, my mistake. A thousand to buy. Yeah, yeah, a bit, bit expensive. But apparently there are some sewers under a Doris, so that's going to be interesting. Um, so yeah, some nice uh, locations to go view in the future. And uh, guards here. I'm pretty sure I'm meant to be speaking to guards. Uh, so Edward is a travelling bard. He plays in the tavern. Brings us news. Okay, Harry. And there's some threat, yeah, a load of undead guys are probably a bit of a threat. Oh, and we've got a request there to do stuff. And apparently the blacksmith's quite important, so maybe we should speak to them. And Bentley, and yeah, I've spoken to Bentley already. And Porto managed to escape. Mm. Okay, do I ask about Porto? Can't remember, we'll find out. Bit more info about the perennial coast, uh, Doris. Yeah, okay, so uh, all sorts of like interesting information here. Um, might need to have a good pour over that, but um, yeah, got any work for me? Oh, apparently, I can become a guard. Um, and yeah, the blacksmith seems to be popular again. Yeah, oh, grave robber. Yes, best, best ask about that. Um, oh. I hope someone catches whoever's defiling the graves. I wonder who that's going to be. Will it be me by any chance? Anyway, yeah, I'm done with you, guard. Oh, room, what's in here? Oh, textiles and a tanner. How much does he want? Um, Well, looks like 100 gold and 6 gold, so there's a few bits in there I could buy. And shall we bother wasting our time? You're silly. Yeah, okay, this is going to go well, isn't it? What's a paladin? Your tummy hurts, yeah, and you don't know anything, and you're just a kid. Yeah, okay, so uh, you're no good to me. On your way. You did. Anyway, um, ranged trainer. Doesn't look like I can train anything there. And uh, there's another little building we can go into. Oh, some merchant. He looks very rich. He must be irritating person to look so fine and dandy when you've got poor old Chad outside oh you know I'm an avatar and oh he despises the refugees oh dear I got a feeling he's up to no good an attack on the camp and he wants to oh he's not a very charitable fellow is he yeah I don't like you no Martin don't like you and you've sold some stuff to Harry yeah, I think I know who's maybe got some red cloth problems. Would it be Harry? And you gave him a discount, did you? Are you going to give me a discount? No? Okay, fine. All right, um, rumours? Got any rumours? Oh, yes, you do. You just want me to pay for it. Yeah, I, I'm not keen on you. Don't like you, Martin. I, I'm done with you. Goodbye, sir. Good. Bye. Yeah, all well, I even have a look around and like, mm, yeah. Oh, it's getting a bit dark. Oh, oh, hold on. Who's this? Is this a Harry? Yeah. Wait, stop. Okay. Know anything about grave robber? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And when you're off duty, yeah, do stuff. Red clock. Oh, am I trying to accuse you? Yes, I am accusing you. Yeah. Uh, you started the fire, did you? Did you? Mm. Oh, but you have felt horribly guilty. Uh, Martin. Oh, he, Martin. And yeah, you should be protecting people. You should. Hmm. Well, spoiler alert. Martin.
Martin got the card to do it. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, the Smith. Should speak to the Smith, should I? Okay, well, let, let's look look over your fact that you've persecuted some poor refugees, shall we? And talk about a Smith for some reason. Okay. Um, where's the Smith? Oh, hold on. Oh, ooh. So, so, Captain Gar gave me a letter. Yeah, oh, here you go. Harry has confessed. And, oh, I could decide to say nothing. Hmm. Or I could tell Raymond and let them uh, decide what to do. So, yeah, a couple of little choices there. And one, two, three, four, one, six. So, up to about seven light quest entries at this point. And is that a smithy? Looks like it might be. Oh, Kui. Yes, Kui to you. Yeah, let's have a chat with you then. So, ah, oh, you're the person everyone's getting on about and work. Uh, oh, you're purchased crafted gear and yeah, I don't know why they're getting on about you. Don't, oh, weak women. What? What? What's? What's this? Oh, I see you. You've got a bit of a I'm better than normal women complex, have you? Okay. Uh, but you are strong and ready to work. Don't mistake me for a weak woman. You've got a bit of a chip on your shoulder, love. What's what's going on there? Pests all over the place. I should apparently do something about it. Okay. Hmm. I can purchase stuff. What's your charge? No, reasonable prices, uh, including recipes for crafting and repair kits. So, yep, yeah, it might be useful to speak to uh, later. And, oh, I can smelt stuff on a smelting station by the looks of it. But, uh, yeah, that's all going to be in my future. And, oh, crafting. Maybe I should train some crafting. What, what options have I got? So, hold on. That's not crafting, is it? Right, crafting. So I can go mining. Yeah, a couple of options there. Looking quite good. Um, what else have I got? Forestry. Uh, foraging. So that's kind of gathering things up. Um, you then got uh, refining and production down at the bottom. So, yeah, uh, apparently I don't know how to use this particular feature. Oh, Apparently I don't have the requirements. Hmm. Okay, yeah, yes, I am looking for training. Yes, I'm here to train you, so train me, of course. And yeah, you're not training me. You're not you're not training me. You're not useful. Hmm. Okay, definitely something I need to read up on because uh, I'm pretty sure at this point they're meant to have given me the chance to train things and I've obviously done something not quite right. And if you click on the signs, you get to see them swing and you get to hear what they are. So, uh, yeah, Taylor, I think we've been here before. Um, yeah, I think I'm probably almost done with the village for now. I um, might have to come back to it. But, uh, yeah, this is at the point now where I'm starting to feel a bit like, um, yeah, I, I probably should know what I'm doing by, by this point, but I'm not sure I do. Uh, who's this? Some random guard? And, yeah, I could do them a favour by going off and killing some grave robber. Uh, do I want to talk about red cloth? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Fine. No, let, let's not get anyone in trouble. Let, let's, let's move off. So it's looking a little bit dark out there. Um, and I think at this point uh, I might need to read up on some bits and pieces. Um, but uh, I'm not going to bore you with all that and as you can see I've gathered a whole load of stuff at this point including some nice consumables and yeah I'm a little bit lost as to what to do at this point um, do I go to the graveyard do I go off and deliver my mail um, you know how should I progress with my um, career in Shroud of Avatar and as I say this is the point where I think a lot of new players will either get really hooked by this game or totally switched off because you had that nice decent-ish introduction you then end up here and it's sort of like bombarded you with text and information and not much hand-holding um, so yeah be interesting to see so um, no more regular updates um, just the odd like highlights as and when they happen and I think at that point I'm done with the video so Catch you on the next one.